a page that I was going to make um, a Kawasaki diddly do for with. And a diddly do. Yeah. Which rigger, outrigger, and outrigger bits and bobs, yes. yeah. Then, funny enough, it's something weird. Well, so you now bought it like some symbolic symbol from. Yeah. You've been doing some uh, tune, doesn't it? That you're trying to work the planets out. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but now you drill uh, them. You bolted on that plate. They're, they're bolted on. What I need to do now is I can pop them mm -hmm. in when I finish them. Yes. In there, yeah, I can put it. the chuck in, and I can just remove with the miller most of that. Yes. Uh, they still got a bit boring out. Um, yeah, just to go through it again. That's the top, isn't it? That's the that, top that's, plate. That is going to be basically. For there, the, yes, yes. Well, not for this, but no, yes. on the other right. plates. Okay. Which we've got sat on the miller. That's just. Which, by chance, I'm nearby. So we'll now turn round and we'll. It, I've just set we'll, it up just to. Do, I'm going round and brilliant. cleaning them up. Okay, let's look at that then next. Okay, yes. Yeah, so we've now turned round and looking at your miller, where you've got not one, not two, but three. These three together. Base. What do you call it? Base plates. Backing clutch cover. Yes. Backing plates. And you're mimicking the shape and the mounts of your standard Kawasaki yeah. clutch, clutch cover. So a bit tricky to see that. So if I do this, you might be able to tell what's going on there. We've gone round. If you if you look round this side now, you can see where I've, it, that we've milled. Yes. It, I've had to do because because that curve is not a perfect curve. Oh, okay. I, I've had to move it on the table on a special clamp just mm -hmm. to try and get it it will want a small bit of finishing probably a little bit of wet and dry just to s polish a few of the marks yes, out yes but you're getting there you're getting it, there if you had a cnc you could put it in a program and it it would whip them out in but we haven't got a cnc yeah, so. in a, probably about 10 minutes yeah, but but it might take you a few three days hours after program. writing a program yeah but you need to write the program first yeah and that might take a while <laughs> and for a one-off it's, yeah, it's not worth it yeah so, so, okay sometimes a little bit of Hand polishing and mm -hmm. fettling is oh, what's required. Is good, is good. Okay. Right. So that's now in hand. Are you going to do some now? Can we film that? Or? Yeah, I can. Oh, uh, right. I can I'll drink tea and uh, I'll drink tea and we can film that. Okay, Jeff. So off you go. I'm right. Gonna go yeah, stand back and uh, drink some tea. What we're gonna do is just sort of radius. Starting to use a magnifying glass now, so you can see the lines. You just have to do a little bit of jiggery poker it. I'll have to come round there okay, and you see. I'll get that way. Sometimes you're working like blind. Yes. It's a lot of work, but you know, it looks good. I've got to mark out for our little oil fillers as well. Oh yes, yes. The oil filler. I've got them little ones. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. If we spin it round. Yes. Go on, spin, spin, spin. <laughs> You're in shot, we're okay. You just make sure it doesn't hit the back of the miller. You can now see we've blended it in, gone yes. round the... There is still a tiny, tiny little, but with a, t a small yeah, little ready. polish with a little yeah. round yes. bit of wet and dry on like a yes. wooden dowel. Yeah. You can actually just polish all that in. Yeah. And then like you say, once it's pot, you'd, okay. you'd be very hard to... Yeah. And just to remind know. people if they've not seen the previous videos, what we're doing here is making the base of one Trying of to imitate like... So that shape, the outer shape and the holes and so on, that's what this is going to be for. Well, that's just a base we're going to then make and bolt up that cylinder will go on yeah and then and then the top and we're just saying then that i actually ordered one of these things the uh <laughs> oh, oil oh, sight oh. level glass it was like 15 quid someone saw you coming yeah, yeah, yeah. but the guy saw like a <laughs> hundred of them i think but it looked suspiciously like the kind you'd get for a compressor um which were like two pounds but i wasn't sure so okay we'll go for the 15 pound one and make sure it's okay but you've since found those same compressor ones, you've well, got a few of them. They're in a little aluminium. I'll show, yes. well, we'll show, show, show them. It turns out they are almost the same, so. Well, they're an oil level thing, but yes. they won't be flush because they're actually got a little hex. Yes. They're okay. actually a little billet one that you actually screw in. Yes, okay. So, lesson learned anyway, I won't be buying another one of them. But anyway, let's now move on and see what else is going on. We can t <laughs> take that off. Yeah. Right. Uh, right, so we've now brought that off the miller onto the workbench and hopefully you can see 
you can actually shape. see if you if it's showing up on it. Yes, yeah. yeah, the scribe line. It's we're trying close. to get it as close as possible to you know. Yes. Which I think with Getting the equipment close. we've got, it's Not too bad. done Not a bloody good job to quote the first. Right. So if you stay there, Jeff, mm -hmm. and I'll I get one of them. We'll grab one of these. There you go. Well. Uh, we've got our adapter plate down there, you know, at the back of the engine. Yes. You'll. Oh, this is here. Yeah. If you grab that, these are all the plates that are made to do all of it. There you go. There's your plate. So, are we on here? Yes, we're on, yes. Uh, right, so December. that's got to go on the miller. Yes. And then, they, I can then just space them and bolt them on. There'll be a hole in there, and that'll give us then, that'll mean that when that's taken out and drilled, that then will be the center. central with the clutch. Yeah. Right. So, you've so, yeah. So that that'll be removed. Obviously, that's the the mandrel for just going around yes. the yes. lugs. So uh, we can pop that on there. So I've had to keep them all bolted together uh, and re remove certain screws and put others back in so they yes. don't move yes. while I was doing it. Yeah, you don't have to move while you're doing no. it. No. So yeah. So now you so, so ba basically they'll screw on there. Yes. Once they're screwed in. Yeah. Uh, I can then. I know my centres for doing the bolt holes, and then yes. like you say, up. they will probably end up about there. They'll be machined and yes, with a taper on them. Uh, can't see. So. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. So that's. Yeah. That, but this is the part. This is the off. Trying to set all that oh, up. Yes. And that's, do a, that. that's a tank of smooth thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Very well, it's going well so far. Consuming. Now that's the one that that's I got. Your, that's that's just fifteen pounds for yeah. the Z one. Then that's a uh, two pound. But one. they're only the smaller. No, so. but they still work. Yeah. So, but they screw in. All oh, right. Okay. They're, they're threaded. Yeah. So that you can actually thread the case and screw them in. So how does that get held in place then? Well, what we'll just have to do is just bore the hole and press it in. Oh God. Well, that's, actually, I prefer that one to be honest. That, uh, that's, how much yeah. was that? That was like two quid. Uh, three pound three twenty. Pounds. That was fifteen quid. <laughs> That's supposed to be a standard <laughs> Z1. So That'll put you closer to how they, they yes, are. Yes, it's like but that. I prefer that one, actually. I Safer. If I can screw one of them in... Yeah. Happy days. Well, obviously, we'll we'll put some... Spe don't just put it in... Uh, oh, no. Probably put a bit of RTV on it and yes. then screw it yeah. in. So yeah. it's... Ain't going to move. It ain't going to come out. No, no. <laughs> right, excellent stuff. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's not for me because I wasted. So I got two. I got two of them. Yes, good. We should have got three. Yeah. I'll get some more. Yeah, get some more. I'll get, get some more because if, if well, if you want me to put one of yes. them in yours, yeah, I'll yeah, put yeah, one yeah, of them in. Yeah, yeah, that, that I can go back in the shelf, whatever. Well, you, I don't know. Just put it somewhere safe. I'll. I'll do leave with it. it just on there. Okay. So up to now, that's where we're up to on that's these. Up to. Okay, actually, now another couple of days is over on these. Done, yeah, yeah, they'll be done. Excellent. Now behind you, Jeff, if I spin round. Do, 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 do. Oh, but yo, yolks! So I've just put your stuff there. Yes. Okay. Let me just stop a minute, and we'll talk about yolks in the front end, which I've just bought. Okay, Jeff. Yes, we're moving on then to the front end. I recently bought that set of forks. Um, it's often Yamaha R6. 2000s and it also came with the discs which are in mint condition and also calipers and the calipers and the master cylinder which is great because they're both in excellent condition those are the famous uh, so-called blue spots blue spots yeah yeah and that's great but we don't want to use the yolks because obviously they won't fit the uh the standard setup that we've got so we found on your shelf <laughs> which has got many 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 yolks <laughs> on it in fact, if I spin round now, let me just go over here for you very quickly in case you've forgotten. Yeah, I have, but I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, so there's all the yolks that's just made over the years. No yolk, is it? No yolk, no, no yolk, no. no. Yolk, and then over here, of course, there's more yolks behind the miller. Yeah. Look, look at them all. Some finished, some not finished. And, and over there, clamps, and clutch bits, clutch. My, engines. My billet engine for yes. some of the old. Yeah, yeah. So we managed to find, I think, two. Two sets of uh, yolks, but we all, but we like that one the best. So let's come over here again now. Those yolks. I'll put the camera down again. Right. Okay. So yeah. So we found those that you'd already done, and we're well, going to use those with those because they're forty-three mil to match the that, they'll for, forks. The only thing is they're six mil wider. Is it six or five? Five. Five mil wider. Yeah, because those yeah, are two ten. 205 yeah they're 210 uh, width and they're 205 width which isn't a problem as long as we've sorted out the axle and i think we've got enough meat on them to 
to get by mm -hmm. by losing it's what two and a half milli of a side so I don't think it's an issue. Are you gonna use that master cylinder or are you gonna get I'm not sure yet, I'm not sure. We'll see. We shall see. The main thing is though what you can get for them, yes. you can get little pots that fit in them. Oh yes, you can get you all know, sorts of upgrades. Yeah. I mean, Unless it'll do for now, it'll do for now, it'll, yeah. I mean it'll work, yeah. um, maybe it won't end up being the final But what we've got to build. do with this, isn't that's a bit... Ugh. bit creases it? Bit, uh, let's put them back on there, we need to see if we can get... We don't know how far that goes in. It's coming out now I think. Do you know something? It might just... It's only two and a half mil either side, isn't it? So it's not the end of the world. Well, that's what you want is to make sure the spindle doesn't come out. No, no. Oh, it looks... That's a long way. Yeah, because that, that's got to... You know, there's ten, there. this 10 mil there. At least, yeah. So you know that that's going to go in, in the fork. 10 mil. So I think that should... Be okay. And you're probably fine. There's no way you could... Well, that'll just come through anyway, so yes. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Now, interestingly enough, Jeff, in fact, yeah, that'll go. that might work. Huh? That might work. Ah, it doesn't matter because if that goes through a bit more, it just means that the spacer in here. Well, yeah, because it, it means that that might be just sunk in a little bit. Yes, yeah, yeah. So it's the, also massively thicker than a standard setup on a old Z1. So there's going to be no problems with the spindle, no, no, even no. it's going another five mil. Yes further out well, yeah it's only 25 yeah 2.5 it'll, it'll mean that that'll just be sank in a bit more just sat in a little bit yeah, more we like that we like that now i'm glad you're here because let's just take those forks and the front wheel and just see how it fits i don't know you've got a dirty hands dear, dear me <laughs> right so hang on a minute we'll grab that front wheel which is over there somewhere and we'll see how it fits on those forks okay so there's the wheel and it did have wouldn't quite go there there you go <laughs> slight problem the bearings are too small. Um, I we'll bet see. it's 25. We'll see. 22. 22. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you look um, on here, look. We just zoom in on there. Not sure whether to pick it up. Yeah, we zoomed in now, and you can see there's a spacer in the middle of that. The um, small shim, yeah, to yeah. tack it. So what you need to do is to uh, take that spacer out and probably put another spacer in that's a bit thinner, hopefully. Well. We'll have a look. We might be able to get bearings that have got 22 yes, ID. Yeah, yeah, because that bearing is sitting yeah. in the... That's in the opposite. Hole. Yeah, okay. We've, we've also got to remake the um, the disc uh, mounts, haven't we? Because Well, either that or we can tickle some shim. Yeah. Man, you yeah. don't want to, want to be going too thin with no, it. No, 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 no. Um, but now if you grab one of them discs, we can have a look at it. It's a problem. It's not it's a problem. A, it's just, just more work. It's it's more... Hey, no, we'll get one of them. Yeah. That's the back, it that's the back, isn't it? So basically we're gonna be making a couple of carriers up. Yeah, it looks like that. Right. Hang on, let me just refocus. I think that's okay, there you go, refocus. Going on now. Yeah, so the original carrier on there that we made to see whatever discs I had at the time. Actually I think it was some Suzuki I'm not sure GSXR. GSXR one thousand K something K five I think. I was giving there it. Go, that comes, there you go, yeah. So that, that comes off. We've got to remake that. And then as you can see, the uh, the bearing is at the end of that. Hub. The other thing, of course, is with this wheel here, which I do like, but the rims came off a old Astrolite, as I remember, yeah. and they were all painted gold and black and gold. So we we re blasted it to get the paint off. So now those rims need a good polish because the rear is polished, but they're not. So that's going to be a bit of a pain to do, but never mind. Not really, because we'll put it on the horizontal miller oh, right, on yeah. the clamp. Okay, okay, you've got your, your miller over there. Look, we can start it up, and you can get some various grades of wet and dry, dry. Okay, and yeah. just hold it and stand there drinking tea stand there drinking tea and polishing it up oh, sounds good for me sounds well, good for me well, i think I'd i did it that, that yeah oh, okay you did that did you? with that one there it's a lazy way of polishing you where you just hold up yes yeah, so oh, that's oh. that sounds like my idea of polishing <laughs> yeah that's great yes that's pretty good happy with that we also of course have to we can't use a stem on that um set of r6 yokes because we've got the stem in here yeah but we've got a stem and that's one reason why we can then um, change over. Okay, Jeff, so I think that's about it, isn't it, for this week? Uh, my head is there, which you mentioned last time round. You've now sorted out the problems with the cam bolts, resorted them all. All of them have been done yet, they've yeah. all been done. Yeah. Right, and now that's going to have to go off to have 
new valve guides, new valves, and having the, the well, uh, valve seats. New guides in it. Yes, it does. I'm having new guides, and having the uh, the valve seats recut. That's what's next, and then it's going to get painted by yours truly, painted black, gloss black. Um, so that's fine. And um, apart from that, I think that's about it. Right, Jeffs, here we are again a few days later on a very, very hot day. The hottest very day. Very warm day. A very warm day. Scott Joe. Oh. And you're just telling me you've had a small problem. Uh, an oversight. The, an oversight. A uh, small issue. An oversight, yeah. And so if we come here, oh. let's just see what we can see. Rearranged. Go on. No, it's, it's not a fault. It's, um, it's slight oversight. Uh, yeah. What's happened is, if I get the hour. Let's have a look. We can, you can see now, there's, I think I've measured that, I think it's about 6 mil. Okay, so there's a gap. Between, it's 5 or 6 mil. So why is there a gap there? Uh, because, I'll explain now when I take this off. Okay. Right. Okay. we bored that out now. Yep. To, uh, well, there's plenty of clearance for yep. a lock-up. Yep. But where I've machined that back, now it's touching the countersink. So that's only half inch thick. Yes. So we've still got about six mil there. We might be able to pinch another mil or two off that face if we counterbore them okay, in. Okay. But it won't be enough for the clutch pressure plate here. It's just ah, it's so hitting, hitting there. Right. So But you made them before, so why was No, I made them bigger, hadn't oh, I? Oh you made them bigger. And then I suddenly thought, oh we don't need it that big. And then you went smaller. And of course yeah, because you said I've, 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 I've allowed for the clutch lock up, but not I've forgot about the distance the clutch comes out. On a standard and touch. the pressure plate's got a okay so, so basically that, that goes on now it's touching yes which you can't do like I say we could get another mill or two off but that it's not enough it's it's not enough but you've so, made spaces like before now yeah as so I'm, I'm making three oh, now. okay so we're going around quickly so it's not it's not a disaster it's just an oversight it's just an oversight okay yeah so there you I have should have realized it's just a lot more work, isn't it? Because you've now got a machine that's better as well. It is now more work, unfortunately. Oh well, these things happen. Just, yeah. Worst things happen at sea, lad. With... So I've just there three ten mil plates are bolted together. So yes. while I've had all the gear set up, you may as well go and do it. I'm going to make three space. It means so we'll have to use longer bolts. Yeah, well, well. But what you might see is when they're together, you might just see a line. Don't care. I'll uh, just say it's because I've got some cool clutch inside there. Yeah. <laughs> So we won't tell anybody. We won't tell anybody. I've just drilled the centres out. And yes. I'm struggling now to get that bugger out. There. Oh, I'm sure you will. Yeah, we'll get it out. Okay. There we go. Are we still on there? Yeah. Oh, so that we've got the middles out. All oh, right. So you've lined, you've lined yeah, them out. Yeah. I've, I've just used our little jig to get yes. them all out. Okay. Cool. Now I can put the milling cutter in. I can clean that up. Yeah. And then I can. Yeah. It's the outside that takes time, doesn't it? It's the outside bit that takes the time. Yeah. We can see there. Look. Um, if it thought if. If we'd done it in three quarter plate, we could have done it in one. Oh well, but these are, th these are just the things you learn yeah. when All you're right. doing stuff. It's not, it's not something that can't be put right. It's not like if you've had a disaster with the the, the job where you've milled in and took some yes, off. You yes. can't put back again. Put back again. Okay, okay. So I'll pretend uh, I've not seen that, and that would be a feature. Uh, so, yeah. What I wanted to do with one of these, once we've forty-five that. Yeah. Put an angle on it. Yeah. Put an angle on it. Going a bit. What I wanted to do is set it up and mill just on that face off there. Yes, to match and that one. And that face there. Yeah. Just so it. And it, it it's very similar then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm it looks with... like the old Z thousand cover because they, they've got two flaps okay, on them. Yeah, sounds good to me. Now, in terms of bevelling the edge, how far will you go in? Are you going to go into the um, recesses of those bolts? No. I just want to do it flat. No, I mean oh. once you've beveled it elsewhere, oh. how far will you go? I think what you might do is just see maybe half the... Oh right, you're going to go halfway. Halfway in, yeah. Okay, cool. So you'll see a flat and then that'll... once it's whole. Alright. Yeah, well, fine. we'll see. It's one of them where I thought, well I'll do one and then you can have a look. Yes, alright, well, that's fine. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so, that's good to me. So if, you're not, if you don't like it then you can say no, don't do it. No, well we'll see, we'll see. Uh, a nice... Uh, look iconic, okay. iconic look. Is that the okay. right word? Sounds good to me. Iconic look. Iconic, <laughs> iconic. Right. Okay. So that can go back. That right. Can go back. So anything else going on right now? Yeah, I just wanted to speak about this head. Oh, the head. The head. The head. Oh, all right then. That's next then. Uh, all right. The because this is an American head. Yes. The these are. The, uh, yeah. Yes, I've just threaded one, and uh, to put them 
grub screws in to block them off. Oh right, yes. Now they're just steel. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, before I fit them in, yes. did you want to put stainless ones in it if I you wanted to get? I've no stainless have got any ones. Stainless? I haven't got any stainless ones. Ten mil. Uh, well, you even get some, I suppose. Now, if you want to put stainless, I thought. Yeah, I didn't want to fit them in, and you said, oh, I preferred stainless well, ones. Well, given that you can't see them and they're invisible, I'm not that bothered to be honest. Well, if you're not bothered, then I put. I've got a load of them, oh, so well, I put them in. Yeah, put them I mean, in. as long as they don't come out again. They're just high tensile, but yeah, yeah. you know. No, just they're not going to go anywhere because the they can't go down. No. And I think the, w the way I've done that, then they'll just finish so that it doesn't foul the rocker yeah, box. No, I'm happy with that. As long as they don't come out. Well, I, right. Better have a word with you. Yeah. yeah in case right. you suddenly said, oh, I didn't want just steel oh, ones in. To be honest, you can't see it. We can, yeah, they, well, but I, I wanted to double check. It won't rust anymore. Yeah. It won't fall out yeah. anymore. It's just because if I'd have locked tighted them in and you'd have said, <laughs> no, I don't, <laughs> don't want that. You said, yeah. oh, no. I can't. No. They're, they're going, they're, you if you use that out. super duper Loctite, you'll stay in. They're, they're, staying in. they're not coming out. No, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Plus, you've got loads of them anyway, so that's yeah. fine. I've got, I've got a box full of that. Have you? Oh, well, you can use some up then. You can use some up. <laughs> right, okay, great stuff. Um, and in fact, I'm here so, today not to film this, not to talk about Kawasaki's, because I've got a little job for you to do. Oh, right. But that's a separate. Uh, do we need video. some bench room? Uh, yes, we do. Right, well, let's put these back over there. Okay, and then we'll carry on. I'm, I'm running out of room. And now, here are those three space plates. All finished, just doing a bit more work, a bit of cleaning up, a bit of deburring, but yeah, pretty much that's it. And let's just quickly go and see where they're going to go on an engine. And now this is how it will fit on the engine. And the clutch lives, and that gives enough space. That will give us now uh, the more than enough clearance for yes. the pressure plate and whatever the gubbins. We should have really started with three, three quarter plate would have been okay. ideal, well, or I'm inch, one inch, learn. probably. Live and learn. So this still needs but, a bit of cleaning up, but pretty much so. it's done now. So the question is, where is the clutch cover for my engine? It's in the and lathe. The answer is, it's on the lathe. Well, so actually, it's there. on the lathe, but not in the lathe. Oh, okay, it's on the lathe. <laughs> on the lathe. Okay, well, let's go and see what's happening with that. Right. Oh. Right then, Jeff. Yeah, as the rain hammers down outside, what we've got here is your new billet points covers well, you've just come back this morning yes with that one back that one you yes uh... yes yeah, so i was going to try and engrave that in that and i could still do that It'd take a lot of time but then i thought hang yes. on a minute hang on a minute mm. we may also need to do something similar for the clutch cover to put the word kawasaki in there which is something i wouldn't want to do by hand so rather than making a bit of a mess of it i said no we'll leave it and i think there are some alternative options one of which is we could laser etch in there we could perhaps machine a hollow if, in there and then inset ten, a badge yeah. and then inset a DOHC badge in there. That would probably be... Yeah, yeah. I'm told you can get a little DOHC aluminium yeah. badge. If you can, we'll find one and we'll do it that way. Because if, if not. If we go in about two mil with a small cutter and just take it out so yeah. it's just like a little... Hollow. Like a little oblong hollow. With yes. Then, well, we need a badge first. Yes, I'll, I'll have We a can look always one. trim the badge. Yes, I shall so it just have a look. Sits in. Uh, hang on, me. Uh, and then the it can be either about bonded to... in or. Yes. But even for even now to even to mill that in there to set the program to say if you wanted to mill that into the case. Yeah. The, well, what will happen is the setup time might cost you a hundred pound or two hundred pound, and then each one will cost you five yeah. quid, which is fine if you're making a thousand of them. But we're not. We're making three. We're making three. So, so the economies don't really work very well. Okay, so with that then, we'll now turn around and we'll go out into extension. Hang on, the camera's getting stuck out there. Now the rain stopped right. and uh, we'll see what's going on on the lathe. Okay, Jeff, so now looking at your lathe with one of the three clutch covers yeah. on there. So I see you've been milling out the inside. I've actually been, I took it out. I've sank down a few more mil yeah. to get that extra bit of clearance in here. Yeah. Might as well get as much as you can. Yeah. It's the more, the merrier. it's better than not. So I've sunk them in and I've machined it down now. The tips just touch the countersunk screws. Okay. Uh, and that one's just deburring. I, I want to clean the inside of that up. Mm -hmm. Then where's our space plate? Let's grab the space plate. Okay, we'll get the space plate. Right, now, is it that way? Yeah. I'm going to bolt that on. Yeah. With probably about four bolts. And then with the lathe, I'm just going to tickle. It'll just skim. Yes, you need to uh, give it a little bit it, more. It just needs a touch out there because the basket is just, just scraping just slightly. Scraping okay, cool. So I'm going to bolt that on yeah. before it comes out of the lathe. We can do all three, can't you? And do all th Yeah, I can bolt them on and do all three while. Okay, cool. While it's being done. So that, and then once I've done that, I can then 
take unscrew them off put the other chuck jaws in and then 45 yeah and finally do the bevel which i'm looking to forward to seeing mm, yeah. right okay yeah. and as we sit here the rain's coming, the rain's again. coming again it's a, just dried up now. yeah we've had a flood because it's the rain's coming yeah. it's uh, been thunderstorms yeah. and whatever the hot weather's broken thank god because i'm sick of the hot weather and we're back to normal rain again back which is normal. fine by me yeah. fine by me don't spin the camera around oh no 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 we mustn't see that we mustn't that, see we that we mustn't see that horrible thing that's arrived in your workshop no, it's just appeared. Uh, it's just appeared, yes. It is in fact a CX500 that's been sat going nowhere for God knows how many years. Engine seized up. I won't ask you what you're going to do with it, but uh, uh, that's for another day. That's that another bit day. of metal there is the better one okay, with the, yeah, lock, with the yeah. lock book and the Nothing else. Point, yeah. yeah, the rest of it's going to go in the bin, I think. Uh, right, okay, well that's a different uh, story. Right, so, and with that then, I think we're done for the day, Jeff. Yeah. Time for tea. So, uh, we'll end it there as Jeff goes back into workshop. So, thanks for watching and cheers.